Hello everybody, it's Chrissy from Chrissy's Beat of Life and I am here to do um, Technique It um, episode for Crafty My Wing Getaway and this is going to be a bit of a live video so you can kind of see. I figured because of the fact that I'm doing a technique, maybe if I was talking through it it would make more sense. I'm currently still trying to work through my December daily of 2017. I actually believe it or not, um, I'm really only up to day eight being completely finished and I just kind of finished it this morning, the back side of it. And so I'm going to move on to day number nine here and this is going to be my technique along with the focus that we're doing, which is to use up your stash and your, your old products. And so in order to do that, a few things I have, sorry about the noise, but my gigantic bag of beautiful sequins that I have, my goal is to, to use that. And I pulled a few because I'm not sure what colors I wanted to go with. And I also pulled some of these shiny red stickers because I'm only ever going to use them during Christmas. They're probably not something I would use in another, um, like another time frame so I pulled that to, to use that and then I also pulled again the kind of the same thing these pink paisley um, numbers I received this um, for my December daily and I have used it once in the number 25 and that was it so that's kind of my idea I'm gonna make a, a shaker pocket so I'm also gonna be using my fuse tool which is something that gets majorly majorly neglected um, I, I hardly ever use it for the with the exception of December and then I also want to just use up a little bit of what I have left from my my December daily kit from last year in some way so I've kind of got some stuff to the side here so that I can do that and I'm not really sure where I'll go. I probably won't use this bag, um, but I'm not exactly sure where this is going to take me, but I do have it. I do know that this is going to be day nine, talking about our advent. Hopefully you can, it's not too much glare, but it's the advent calendar we did for last year with Jackson. And so my goal is to use my fuse tool here to kind of encompass the photo and then have sequence and the word um, advent either at the top or at the bottom. So we will see. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do it. The first thing I need to think about actually is the fact that because I have finished day 10, I have day 10 done. I'm going to slide in a couple little tags about our ornaments for this year or last year. So I have to think about what the back is going to look like because it's kind of going to be a bit of a filler um, card and I'm thinking because of the fact that I have the word ornament in gold I am gonna find one of these special gold pieces and maybe use one of those I don't need any more snowflakes it was really cold <laughs> the day before that so um, that's where they're I do think I will use this star one. I've cut a little thing off of it already, so this would be a good one to use and that will match up. So that is going to be my first cut there. Let me take away my December daily again. I have kind of overdone December daily last year. It's very thick and I think that I have to be a little bit more cautious about that this year. I haven't actually started my December daily yet. I am waiting for my December daily, A, I'm waiting for my December daily kit to arrive. Um, just because I, I've mentioned this, I think multiple times, but I always get everything shipped to the States because it's cheaper. And then I patiently wait for my mom to, when she comes to visit, um, to bring it up for me. So I never know exactly when I'm receiving stuff, um, but I do believe I'm getting it this week. So I'll be able to dive into that, which is really, really exciting. And that's going to fit just perfect. Get 
that heat down. And I just kind of want to know, do you guys do, how do you approach December daily? Do you do foundation pages or do you just kind of go? Do you have a story a day? Um, or do you kind of just, um, you just document everything. I know of some people and I know I did it, especially in like the starting parts of my, my old December dailies. I just documented, I literally did like a, a daily story of, of what the day looked like. And then whatever photos were included in that day was what I did. Okay. So first thing I need to decide is how I'm going. And I just have this down so you're not seeing my bright pink. And I apologize about the disaster of my desk. It's, um, it's not good. I know, but I'm lazy and I'd rather scrap than clean. So we'll see here. I also need to include a number here. So let's see. I kind of want to put the number here. Let me just see if this is going to work. And it's going to be, I've decided this is day nine. Just, oh, there's one. Just because it can be. Oh, okay. These aren't, this isn't going to work. They're too big. Darn it. All right. So that's okay. Um, at least I tried. I pulled them out and I did try to use them. So that's the point about when you're trying to um, use up stash and stuff is just remember you have them so you can pull them and, and try to use them. I'm going to pull instead hopefully a number from here. This is also in my stash because I kind of separated my numbers um, and again I kind of only ever dig into them for December. So let me see here. I kind of want Maybe that one. Just kind of seeing what I've got here. Oh, that one. That might match Jackson's shirt really well. Let's see if one of those will work. Hopefully it will. Um, so the way I approach December, oh, that one, that one fits. didn't want to cover up much of. Okay. So I'm going to use one of those. Um, but the way I approach December daily now is to try to, if something major happened on a certain day, I do try to document it on that day, but the rest of it, I just use as filler days and just document the cute photos that I've taken. And it's the fourth and I've already had like seven days I could fill. <laughs> I've taken a lot of photos already. And uh, the nice thing is I like to have a little bit of a, like I like to have some extra photos so I can just use them for scrapping and that don't necessarily make it into my December daily. And so that's fine. I'll probably end up using those. Am I spelling this right? A-D-V-V. -V. Helps if I can spell right. I am, you guys, the worst speller in the entire universe. <laughs> it's really, really, really bad. Um, and an N. And a T. Okay. Perfect. So now I have to decide if I want to... Actually, first I need to decide... So it's white on the back, so I don't mind that. Um, however, I have to keep in mind that that's going to be right on top of the word ornament. So I don't like that because this is going to be kind of a, a see-through element. So I'm going to end up putting the word advent up here instead. And... That will be how I do go about that. I'm going to add, figure out which sequence I want to do. Um, so like I said, I added a few. I'm wondering if I add this one with that nine. 
or should I do this one? I have a lot of, I have too much red going on in my thing. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this back out for a second. And I just like to do a, the bottom first. I find it's the easiest. And even though those are, it's fine, I can move those around. But you just make sure you have a nice, but enough that it will actually shake too. And then I'm going to put this right back where I think it's gonna go. And I cannot um, actually show you how I do the fuse because I don't, it's plugged in somewhere else um, and I don't have it in reach of it, but it's the fuse tool. It would be basically like if this is my fuse tool. If you've never used it before, I'm sure you have, um, but you just go along the lines like this, um, leaving space to be able to slide your thing back in. So I'll be right back to kind of show you that and then we can finish up this shaker pocket. Okay, so I went ahead and did the bottom along with the two sides. So this can come out, I think it can come out, maybe it can't. Okay, it's not gonna slide out. Um, oh, there it goes. So I've made it nice and tight. I don't know how well you can actually see that, but what I can do now is slide in the rest of the sequins um, and do up here as well so that it can slide back in. I need to do the nine before I slide it and do the bottom. The other thing you have to remember when you're doing a shaker pocket and if you want to have your like your thickers on the outside is do not, I started to do it, don't tape down, like permanently tape down your stickers until after you have done your, you have done it, um, just because of the fact that it will, uh, it won't work with the, with the raised. I'm still debating if I want it to be a full, oh, the other nine I had, if I want it to be a shaker up here or just down the sides, I haven't quite decided. Um, and then to decorate it, I'm gonna do this nine, this nine, I don't know what nine I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use something. I should pull some more stuff. I have the beauty of go doing December dailies is how you how much you can go through with your your scraps and your stash and all of your fun stuff. So I might pull out a tag here and try to use that. I have a few other things. So I have everything I've, I've organized all of my December daily stuff into little bits and bobs so that I can quickly grab stuff when I need to, when I'm doing it this year. And when, again, when I get my kit, it will be a lot easier to use because I'll already have it ready to go. So I'm gonna pull something out of here. Let's see what I want to do. Maybe that one. Dun, 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 dun. It doesn't have to be crazy. I don't want to do the teal. I don't want to do the sparkle. Maybe I could do this one. No, that's a little too much. Just seeing what I think is gonna work best. This nine might be too big. Let's see. I like the idea of this. Maybe I should do it this way. 
this way. Just brings in another pop of that. So let me go ahead and get, oh. No, that's okay. Let's get this taped down. Because it's going on my photo, I'm not really worried about what tape I'm using this round. Normally I try to make sure to use my really strong adhesive when I am doing um, December daily so I know that it's going to stick really really well. Don't want anything to not stick. Okay so there's that. Let's see if I can get a tag through there if I taped it too well. I always forget to um, string up my my tags before I glue them down and then normally I'm too late but this one seems to be okay how about a little bow so yeah I love to do December daily um, and create fun little pieces I tend to be the most creative I find during December daily time I kind of reach outside my box a little to to do a little more than I normally do, which is really kind of fun. I like that. Reaching and, and just doing different types of things. So I don't actually think these nines are gonna work. Let's find a quick small one maybe. It's um, a blue one, that one might work. Just trying to find a nine. It's not hard. Ooh, maybe I can use that. I didn't look far enough into this with my... And I keep... Okay, so obvious thing, but some people might not think about it. Um, if you like to store your numbers, I do like to keep my numbers stored. Um, my sixes and my nines together just because they're the same shape for the most part. Every once in a while, you have a, a very obvious six and a very obvious nine, but normally they're kind of the same. So, you know. I could use that, or I could use this, and then date stamp. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, see if I can find, my crazy date stamp and all of my mess and here it is here so I'm gonna even though I do not think that this photo okay. was, sorry about that I got a phone call and it threw me off and it shut my thing off okay so my plan now as I was gonna say is I'm going to date this is 2017 Christy because 2018 is this year and I'm doing last year's okay so I'm gonna date it Now, I am definitely one where I really don't care that this wasn't actually on the night. Some people care, some don't. You just have to do what works for you. And don't worry about if it doesn't work for you, then don't, don't do it. Like, if, it, if the thought of not having a story on a certain day because that was the day it happened... If that's a big deal to you, then you know what? Have an album that has a ton of of photos on a day. Like it's it's your album. You get to do whatever you want with it, and that's what's so special about it is because it's yours, and no one can take that from you. I could have to trim this just a little. Let's see. Okay. I didn't think about how I would slide this in with the, the tag. Okay, so there we go. Oh, a couple little things. I must not have gotten something. There's a hole in my in my thing somewhere. didn't fully go there but that's okay we'll just have a little in there 
Okay, so I am going to go ahead um, and do the rest of this part. Um, actually, I need to decide what I'm gonna do. Why don't I? So, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and I am going to go ahead and put the, the little part here. So A, when you flip this, it's going to look the same. And then I will decide if I'm just gonna cut it off here or if I'm gonna fill it up and then cut it off here. So I'll make that decision in just a second and then I will be done with day nine. This is a really easy spread. Like I said, super fun, basic and fun stuff to do. So I will be right back and we'll wrap this up. So let's get the rest of this in here. Now, I will show you my trick how to get them down the sides because that can be tricky. Okay. Best thing to do is grab a, you can use, if you're worried about, I guess, drawing on your, your um, transparency or whatever, just use a, your waster side of a pencil and just, the, this side is going to be a little bit more like, um, the sides of them are a little tighter because they are, right? They just, they just are. Um, so just be aware of that. I just ripped my, um, my sequence thing. You can see that. <laughs> so I will get it down the end and see how I'm going to fix that. I might not be able to. I might have ruined it. So you need to make sure that you don't rip that, rip it. Um, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Um, I am going to leave a little bit up there. I'll spread these out. Just a little. Try to get some of these to come. Ooh. I'll play with it a little bit. I'll tape down that and then I'll just finish it up and then that will be the way that my shaker works. So quick and easy. Um, I messed up a little bit. I should have given myself a little bit more room, um, but that's why we do tutorials live and do stuff like that. So you can see what we've done and hopefully you, you can learn from them. So you don't do them too. Um, thankfully I know what I did, so it should be easy to just slide them down there. And yeah, I will have a finished photo for you. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of technique day. I'm back later in the month with a process video of an actual layout. So I will see everyone then. Bye.